Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been itching to make a, like, a beauty related video for so long and I'm like really, really excited right now. I am in my beauty room. I still have no furniture, no storage. I have stuff everywhere. Um, there is an echo in here. I'm sitting on the floor. My makeup is all on the floor. It's just, it's a mess. But as long as you guys can see me clearly, <laughs> then that is all that matters. You guys can tell by the title, I am going to be testing out the new ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation, which I'm so excited about, you guys. I really like their Pretty Fresh line a lot, and the foundation has been getting a lot of like really good feedback from what I've seen. We're going to do like a wear test as well. It's going to be like a first impression. I'm excited. Oh my god, I'm like rusty. I don't know what to do. Before I jump straight into putting foundation on, I'm just going to use a little bit of my Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer. Just because I don't have like any moisturizer or anything like that on my face. My skin's kind of been a little crappy again lately. Anyways, so here is the foundation. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I bought three shades. Um, this was a little tricky. I got these shades. Uh, 45W, 50W, and 70W in case... These were way too light and I need something darker, which I think right now, like I'm pretty fair. I think I'm gonna try a light 45 first, which is the lightest one. I think I was like 50 in something. I don't know. My brain is kind of scattered. I ordered this not too long ago, but it did take a little bit of time to get here. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm not on ColourPop's PR anymore. I don't know, but I haven't had like any contact with anybody since before like this whole virus mess. But yeah, I I don't get stuff from ColourPop anymore. I don't know what that's about. I'm excited to put makeup on. I haven't really like glammed up and put like makeup on in such a long time. And I don't know, putting foundation on specifically like my face is the most therapeutic thing in the whole world. So like I said, I'm gonna take 45W. So this, this is a, a hydrating, like buildable, like medium coverage foundation. I will kind of insert like the price and more like details like on the side here because I don't know where I put the box. I'm going to do like one side with a brush and then I'm going to do the other side with a sponge just to see the difference. I'm pretty sure brush is going to give me more full coverage. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do like a pump, like a good pump on one side because I don't really know how far this will go. I feel like the color actually doesn't look too bad. Interesting. We shall see if it oxidizes Because just from other color pop stuff. I've tried things do oxidize a bit. So I'm gonna Yeah, it does kind of look like it Oxidizes just slightly when you first apply it. I feel like the color is not bad Like it's something I can definitely get away with. It's blending really nice with the brush. It's very like fluid it's not clinging to any dry spots at all. It actually looks really pretty. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit so you guys can get a better look at my skin. So it does give pretty light to medium. I would say that's like a good medium coverage. Um, I might go over my face with a little bit of foundation with a sponge just to kind of build it up, but not like too heavily with a brush. But I feel like the color's not bad. My neck is always so super super pale and my body is like always like darker than my face so i actually don't mind the color as long as i kind of bring it down a little and i feel like once i put on powder concealer bronzer blush i feel like everything will just like fit but as you can tell that's the color and i'm also using no lighting this is just a window in front of me so this is pretty true to color <laughs> as it can possibly get like what i'm seeing right now is like in natural lighting and that's always the most telling if something is really off. So the fact that it looks decent in natural lighting, we're good, I'm babbling, let's move on. What I'm gonna do is actually put it on my brush, put it on my face in like the areas and then take my sponge because when I directly apply foundation onto my sponge, it kind of just soaks all in. So this way it's already on my face and we're just gonna be blending it. Oh, it blends really quickly and very easily. But like I already imagined, it's definitely a little more sheer with the little sponge here. So we're definitely going to have to build this up a little. It actually looks good on both sides. My skin's like 
very very textured right now um so the fact that it like looks this decent on my skin i'm very shocked because uh, my skin's just been very off lately i'm gonna go ahead and do this side too i feel like it's what you're in the mood for when you're just applying foundation either with a brush or a sponge i feel like both ways look really nice with the foundation i need concealer underneath my eyes i have some blemishes scars and stuff peeking through but it's like at the point where like i don't mind because that's just like my skin but it looks really even really nice i i like the coverage um you could probably go probably even a little bit more but anything i can cover um like spot conceal with concealer i can instead of like layering too much foundation because i don't want it to start like creasing and getting too like loopy on my face so let's get concealer for my concealer i'm taking the colourpop pretty fresh concealer in the same shade 45 w is this gonna be that's good i feel like this is decent i don't want super super bright under eyes i'm not gonna do too much concealer on my face a tad bit of spot concealing just because i want to really see what the foundation does so i'm not going to go like super heavy on the face i'm also not going anywhere so it's okay if we have some stuff peeking through i just want to see how this wears for being like a hydrating hyaluronic acid foundation it's not like a super glowy or dewy foundation but it's not matte either i would say it's like a pretty natural satin finish to the skin like i don't have this shine but it's also not like dehydrated and super matte looking i think it's just like a natural finish which is really nice i actually really like that a lot i've actually done a video on pretty much every single colourpop complexion product there is out there i'll link them all down below if you're curious about like other stuff foundations concealers but i really love this concealer a lot almost almost better than a no filter let me zoom you guys in a little bit more and get like a final look on what the foundation looks like without any powder before like I set it in all that jazz. So let's get close. Like I mentioned, I do have like an unbelievable amount of texture lately to my skin. So all of this texture that you see like on my skin is literally me, not the foundation. But I can tell that the foundation is sitting really nicely on my skin. Like it's really, really smooth, especially in the areas I don't have a lot of texture. So... I like it. It did. It does oxidize a bit. Like I can tell it's gotten a little bit darker. There's a difference, but it matches like my body. We're good. I'm going to go ahead and set my face using the Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. Um, if you don't want to set your face, you're not a setting type of person. Obviously, you don't have to. I feel like you could probably get away with it. It's not super like dry, but it's not like sticky feeling or heavy on the face. So if you're somebody who likes an unset foundation, this is definitely something that looks doable. Also, I forgot to mention it is 1230. So yeah, I'm going to wear this for as long as I can. I have been sleeping a lot earlier lately. Like by nine o'clock, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go upstairs. I think it looks really good with the powder too. It hasn't done anything weird. I feel like the longer this foundation sits, like a couple of hours, it'll start looking like a lot more like natural and pretty on the skin. We shall see. So normally I would just kind of do this part like my bronzer, blush, do everything and then come back. But I figured I would just do it with you guys because why not? For my bronzer, I'm going to take the LC Light Bronzer. It looks like this. Really pretty. I hope the lighting and everything is okay. Like I am so nervous that like when I sit down to edit this, I'm going to be like... I feel like this move has just got me like so scatterbrained and just all over the place but i've been really dying to make these like beauty videos again because i really miss it i miss you guys i miss putting out like content i know it's been like really lacking and slow and i apologize so much for that but thank you for everyone who's like hanging in there and just along for the ride whatever the ride is but hopefully i can get some freaking furniture in here and set up like my lights and my like a table at least so i can like film videos for you guys but i'm really excited because i do have really good lighting and all that jazz that i'm very excited to implement in my videos for my blush i'm going to take the bh cosmetics bellini blush palette which i've been using a lot it's really like summery colors i like to mix these two shades together it's a very big fluffy brush sorry if i'm looking everywhere i have a mirror here my phone with the viewfinder and then the camera. So it's set everywhere. The 
princess has joined us. I just saw actually that ColourPop just um, launched faux freckle pens, which I'm really excited about. I love freckle pens. I mean, I have the ones from Lime Crime that I use all the time, which I'm looking for. Here we are. Um, this one is Amber. There's also Coco, which is more of like a little bit darker and more cooler tone. I really like the one they launched a few summers ago the color of it um, more than this one just because it was a little bit more red it looked more natural like how a freckle would actually look obviously everybody's freckles are different and obviously this is not everybody's cup of tea like there's some people who are wholeheartedly against faux freckles but I do not see anything wrong with it it is a preference oh my god I didn't put highlighter on I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick I'm gonna use the Persona highlighter in the shade Zuma one of my favorites and I'm using this on a BH Cosmetics 140 brush one of my favorites everything's my favorite I love this highlight it's so pretty I feel like as much as I love natural lightings when you just use natural lightings for your videos everything looks kind of dull it's fine this is just temporary until I can get everything going but better than nothing so let's continue with the little freckles anyway so that is the complexion I think it really looks good. I'm gonna do like another zoom in so you guys can see what the foundation looks like with the powder and all the products on top of it. Here's what we look like up close. I think it looks really good. Um, I haven't got any creasing yet. It's not settling anywhere. It doesn't look dry. It doesn't look cakey. It looks pretty dang good actually. I'm gonna look in my little mirror here. For my eyes, um, I'm just something really simple but I'm gonna take this palette that I made with ColourPop a while ago. Um, I got to kind of curate this little palette with shades I really liked. Uh, so I'm gonna take some of like these light brown shimmers, just do something very quick and easy. I'm gonna take this color, it's called Bel Air with a Alamad brush. <laughs> Didn't have a name on it. It's been like so peaceful, like when I'm not talking, it's very, very quiet. I'm very used to the old place where there was always like big rigs and motorcycles, really loud cars. Like if you guys have watched my videos, like you know, there was always like some type of noise in the background. I always had to edit something out. I'm gonna take a little bit of Paper Tiger. Love this, like a honey mustard, muted honey mustard shade. And I'm just gonna add that right into where I put Bel Air just to give it that like yellowy warmth that I love. Take a little bit of Top Notch. It's like a... Mm, very warm cocoa color. I love this color. And I'm gonna take a smaller brush, I think. Gosh, I said I was gonna do something simple like a shimmer and mascara, that's it. But like here I am going smoky brown. I'm gonna run a little bit of that same shade right along the lower lash line. I guess not a little bit, a lot of it. <laughs> well, there's our natural eyeshadow look. It's really pretty actually. <laughs> I like that. Um, what do we want to put on the lid? My memory card got too full, so we're back. I'm gonna take the shade 20 something. It's a really, really pretty gold color. And I'm just gonna use my finger to pop this on my lid. With a very teeny tiny brush, I'm gonna take Let Me Explain and I'm gonna put that in the brow bone for a little bit of highlight. I'm also going to put a little bit on the inner corner of my eyes as well. Looks good, it looks good. Also, really quickly, I forgot to mention, but I lightly filled in my brows with the ColourPop what is this, Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Dope Taupe. It's absolutely one of my favorites. I love this so much. Um, for my mascara, I'm going to go into this Marc Jacobs. It's new. I don't really know what it's called. Um, it says Blackbird at Lash the Lifting and Volumizing Mascara. I don't know. I really like it. It's pretty good um i've been trying it out for the past few days that's like one coat and i think that looks pretty dang good like it's a good mascara i actually really do enjoy this a lot foundation looks really good still i don't have any creasing in my frown lines my forehead smile lines which is absolutely fantastic because i usually have a lot of creasing at this point when i'm not even done with my makeup my face is already creased so the fact that i don't have any is amazing it doesn't really look like it's gotten any darker or like oxidized anymore i feel like it's just like when you apply it it's the initial change and then it's fine so eyes are done all we have left is lips i'm gonna go with the ColourPop lippy pencil in oh snap and then i'm gonna use oh my god these glosses are amazing they're from bh cosmetics it's these so extra glosses 
and they come in little duos of different colors so this one is in caffeinated and extra foam they feel so good on the lips they are juicy not sticky not thick they have an amazing like cushiony feeling on the lips these are bomb they don't get like goopy and gross they just kind of fade very gracefully which i love that as well um so yeah i'm gonna use extra foam today just add a little bit of gloss to the center of my lips so let's line first this lip liner is like my lips but better the color so i love just lining and leaving it it looks really good this and little one they're like my favorites right now oh and bff those are my top three natural everyday perfect to overline or just wear like on your lips only to just define a little those are the top three for me right now and now i'm gonna go into the gloss so juicy what a difference lining your lips really makes honestly so here we have one last look it is like 1 p.m right now it looks really nice very smooth no creasing it feels really good to the touch very lightweight i'm a really big fan right now like i have high hopes for this i'm hoping it wears really nicely i do a little check-ins throughout the day just to see how it's wearing as well as you know obviously at the end of the night so as of right now i'm very happy i'm very pleased i feel good i will see you guys later hey guys i'm back for like a midday check-in it is 4 p.m and I've worn this foundation for several hours now and I have not looked at my face yet, so we're gonna do that together. Open up the mirror. Okay, actually, does not look bad. I have like frown lines, but they're not like heavily creased from the makeup. It's like my skin creases naturally, so that's what that's from. And I'm shocked that like makeup hasn't settled in it as much as I, a lot of other foundations do. Smile lines, very tiny, like, very small so here we are with a little close-up i think it, i think it looks really good um i have like no problems with it um you can tell like a very tiny crease right there very small honestly like my face just naturally has like creases that just stay there regardless if i'm wearing makeup or not so that's that it feels really nice it doesn't come off like it doesn't transfer as far as like my hand, like I don't feel any type of transferring. And then when I touch my face, it doesn't seem like it's really disappearing. So that's a really good sign. Oh my God, I just realized when I check back at night, it's gonna be dark and I don't have any of my lighting. Where? I'm probably gonna have to update you guys in the bathroom or something with some type of artificial lighting. But the important thing is like, I'll let you guys know how I feel about it. But as of right now, I'm very happy as I said like 5,000 million times. Hey guys, I am back for my final check-in. Um, I'm so sorry for the echo in here. I'm in a bathroom because it's the only decent lighting I'm gonna get right now. It's about 9.45. I've had this foundation on well over nine hours, which is a good amount of time to test the foundation. and. I gotta talk really fast because my battery is about to die and I don't think I have a charged one. I gotta say like short little summary, I actually think it looks really good. I don't have any fading, crustiness, dryness, like this, oh my god, like I don't even have creasing. This is actually crazy, like whatever tiny smile line I had earlier on, that's the only thing I have on my face that I could just like tap out a little bit. But it looks so good. I mentioned that I feel like this is one of those foundations, like once it's been on my face for a couple of hours, it's gonna look really good. And that's definitely true. It's just more natural looking because like my natural oils have mixed in with the foundation. I'm not shiny or like super dewy either. So I feel like because it's a hyaluronic hydrating foundation, I was expecting it to probably be like way more shiny maybe, but I have normal skin, I'm not particularly oily. I think this is actually pretty cool. I think a lot of different skin types could wear this. I'm very happy with it. Um, I'll do a little close-up to show you guys what it does look like right now. Truth be told, I haven't really tried a new foundation in a while, especially something that I really like. And I think this is gonna be definitely on my little top five list because so far, so good. Thumbs up for me. I'm very happy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it wasn't all over the place. Thank you so, so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Mezzy Jesse Beauty, and Instagram, Makeup by Jesse. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so before you go. Also, hit that little bell so you're notified every time we post a new video. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.